Yeah, I'm good, are you? Good, it's not bad. Right. Right when you are. Right. Tom Pugh, last time I saw you, uh, it was after the 5-1 defeat against Scunthorpe. Slightly different performance and slightly different outcome this afternoon. Yeah, it was. Uh, what a game, by the way. Um, especially for their second second goal, I didn't think it, I think it were a foul on uh, PD, but it's football and the lads showed great character to bring it back. What did you think coming into this one? Because uh, obviously a decent victory against Spennymoor, so all geared up and hopefully a huge crowd here as well. I think especially if you want to be in that playoff spot, you need to back it up with back-to-back -back wins. Um, I didn't know how I was going to feel after the Christmas dinner yesterday, but <laughs> no, I felt fine. And, uh, obviously, we got the win today, which is the most important thing. What's Andy Williams done to this squad? Just added his uh, experience to this squad. Obviously, he's been in the league for God knows how many years. Um, but yeah, he's just experience to the squad that uh, goes on to everyone else. And Paul Caddis at half time, obviously, he came in at 0 0. Paul Caddis just, just told us that he didn't think it was the best at first half. So, what did he say at half time to turn things around? <clears throat> It's a difficult one, It's because obviously you're away from home, so coming away with a point away from home is just as good as a, a three points sometimes, but the lads showed great character, dug in deep, and uh, three points was obviously better than a draw. Absolutely, and then obviously going 2-1 down with 15 minutes to go, your back's against the walls a little bit there. Yeah, back's against the wall, but obviously the lads stuck together, and we've shown that in the last game where <clears throat> we can always get a late goal, and well, we ended up scoring two two late goals, but one were disallowed, so, but yeah, the Lads showed great character in that game. And do you know why uh, Cowley's goal was disallowed? Well, they say it was a push, but theirs were just as bad, so I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> you were in the middle of it, we yeah. weren't. So. <laughs> and then obviously all set for Gloucester again, so you've got now a few days off, you've got some training, but presumably it's, it's not quite cut and thrust that you normally get at Christmas with three games in sort of six days. No, yeah, so we've got them again, uh, got them at home, so obviously we'll have the crowd behind us this time. Well, I thought well, they added, a, added an extra there, but even bigger crowd at home. So, uh, yeah, be looking forward to it. Yeah, and obviously a huge crowd in here today. There was almost a 1,000 in, which for an away following is, is, is pretty incredible. I think, yeah, unreal, by the way. Uh, but I think it helped us kicking that way because they were behind the net and uh, give us that extra boost that we needed. Tom, brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.